Well, after the test series against Sri Lanka, Australia is set to play India and no doubt deliver another thriller. But in the Barossa Valley today, some of cricket's legends came together to remember one of the greatest matches ever played between Australia and India. Mike Sexton reports from Tanunda. It was a perfect day for cricket in the Barossa Valley today. Mid-twenties, light breeze and the prettiest cricket ground north of Adelaide at Chateau Tanunda. If you uh, build it, they will come, and that's what you see over here, this great ground. And the big greats of the game have come here. Coming today with two dozen cricketers from across the world, all to help the David Hooks Foundation for organ donation. And that just shows the strength of the sport and, and what happens internationally, the spirit that's held by all those people. Today's event honoured the tied test fought out between Australia and India 21 years ago in Madras. Conditions then were brutal, 40 degrees and stifling humidity. I went off uh, because I just couldn't think straight, you know, I just nothing was registering with me and uh, I got in the dressing rooms and uh, I asked Dave Gilbert, who'd done a fantastic job as, uh, as 12th man for the whole five days, whether AB wanted me out there. We sort of a few overs the bowl and uh, Dave went out and asked AB and uh, he gave me the biggest abuse of all time to Dave and called me a week this and week that and uh, Dave come back and said, uh, yes, Alan would like you out there as soon as you could, thank you. It wasn't just the heat and humidity, it was the stench, the noise, the radiation of, of the cement stadium that, that created a, an even heavier atmosphere. The, the air was heavy the, and the stench, like I said, was really bugging me. And this bloke just walked out in the field and I thought, God, I've got to do something here. And I asked Dave Gilbert, you know, for a jumper. He said, what are you, crazy? And I said, and I turned to the Indian and said, that's how easy it is out here. Greg Matthews bowled the final over and trapped Miranda Singh LBW with one ball to spare to tie the match. The match has ended in a tie. It's an unbelievable result. It kept low and I was confident he was plumb in front of the wicket and I gave the decision. And in the end when he was given out LBW, he kept on showing the bat to the umpire, he nicked it, he nicked it. But the wire finger had gone up, very up, you know, and they were not going to come down. <laughs> Umpires V. Vikram Raju and D. N. Dottiwala are now in their mid-70s and this is their first visit to Australia. For Vikram Raju, the decision he gave 21 years ago cost him his career. The most courageous umpire on the face of the earth to give that decision and to, to have him out here for him to enjoy the moment because he was ostracised after that, he never did another test match. And, and they're still hanging around together. It's, it's interesting just seeing the camaraderie of those two and it's such a, a joy to see that they brought two men together that were part of something very special. For the Australians, the match helped forge a new era. And the good thing about that whole tour was after that, Australia tended to play very well in the subcontinent. Uh, you know, we won the World Cup the next year, which was a fantastic achievement from uh, the nucleus of that side that played uh, in, uh, in Madras for that test. Playing for the visitors today was Asanka Gurusina, whose view of life changed this year when he had a cornea implant from a donor. He had it in June of this year, and the results have been wonderful for him. And um, without telling tales out of school, he, he said how scared he was about the whole thing, and anything to do with your eyes, I think, is frightening. Uh, but he's just thrilled at the results and, and the ongoing sight that he's got from that transplant. Robin Hooks says the operation reinforces the need for organ and tissue donation and reminds her that from her husband's death, came better lives. It's an emotional place to go to actually see the results but it's, it's also inspiring and overwhelming to know the ages and the sexes of the people where his organs went and this year I reflected because we tried to focus more on tissue donation and um, his a corneas one went to a young girl who'd been blind from sight and a teenage boy with, without identifying any of them because I don't know who they are but um, that in itself was inspiring. 21 years on, Greg Matthews still remembers his heroic last over like it was yesterday. Today, he also remembered his old teammate, David Hooks. When you see doing just hands-on doing good things for mates and helping people out that are less fortunate and saving lives, it's just an absolute honour to help a brother out and, and help create his legacy and, and help make this joint a better place, you know. And that's Stateline for this week. You can contact...